This video presentation is going to be over calculating the volume of water in a pipe. As a preface, I do not own any of the questions or material presented in this video as it was all sourced off the open internet. I have to the best of my knowledge presented the proper formulas and correct answers to the questions. This is a study guide and for educational purposes. If this helps you out, that's great. So here is the formula for volume off the state of Florida formula sheet. I recommend that you find what your state agency provides when taking the exam and get familiar with it while practicing the math. I have a video that briefly goes over and has links to different formula sheets and shows the differences between different states. Uh, if I am smart enough, there should be a little thing up here in the corner that you can click that will take you to that video. I'm not going to get too much more into it. So anyway, here we have the volume part on the formulas. We're going to be doing a cylinder because pipes are cylindrical. Hopefully your pipes aren't square. And we're going to be using volume is equal to 0 0.785 times diameter squared times the height because pipes are given to you in their diameter. One other thing to take note of when looking at the volume formulas is that the answer is given in cubic feet. So that means that all of the measurements when doing the multiplication and the math will need to be in feet for the formula to work. So keep this in mind because this could add some extra steps when doing the math problem because you might have to do some conversions. Uh, because if you've ever talked about laying pipe, you'll notice it's usually in inches, unless you're lucky. Here we have the handy dandy conversion table off the Florida formula sheet. Ones to note for this particular video are going to be 1 foot is equal to 12 inches. And 1 cubic foot is equal to 7.48 gallons. You might want to remember these as they're pretty important in standard conversions when it comes to water treatment math. And if you're practicing this math, you're going to see these a whole bunch. In case you didn't know what a cylinder looks like. Here's a picture of a cylinder. So the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder is again 0.785 times the diameter squared times the height. What's diameter you say? Boom, there it is, the diameter of a cylinder. And then you're gonna be multiplying that again by the height of the cylinder. Oh, hey, wait, what's happening on this slide? What, what's my cylinder doing? Oh no, it fell down. So now instead of height, it's going to be length. So now that we have all this together, the volume of a pipe is equal to 0 0.785 times the diameter in feet squared times the length in feet. And your answer is going to be in cubic feet. All right, so let's get into what you guys are really here for. Math my favorite how many gallons does a 400 foot long section of 24 inch pipe hold with any word problems i like to always pull out my known and my unknowns to make it easier to keep track of when doing the math so what we know is that you have a 400 foot long section of pipe the diameter is 24 inches and what we're looking for is the volume in gallons to find the volume of a pipe, like we've said, is 0.785 times the diameter in feet squared times the length in feet. So if you notice, the diameter is in inches, so we're going to have to do some converting. So to do unit conversion, you have 24 inches. There is 12 inches in a foot, and to get these to cancel out, you're going to put the foot on top and the inches on the bottom. So 24 inches times one foot over 12 inches, which is going to end up being division. And your inches will cancel out and you'll be left with feet. So when you do that math, 24 divided by 12, again, the inches canceled out and you're left with two feet. So now that we've converted the 24 inches into feet, we can plug all this stuff into our formula now that our units match. So you have 0.785 times two feet. We're going to square that times 400 feet. And to break that down even more, you have 0.785 times 2 feet, times 2 feet, times 400 feet. 
And when you do all that math, you're going to get an answer of 1,256 cubic feet because you had feet times feet times feet. But hold up, our answer is looking for gallons. So we're going to have to do some more conversions. If you don't remember us talking about this in an earlier slide and say, hey, how do I convert cubic feet to gallons? Don't worry, I gotcha. There are 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot. So to get the units to convert, the 7.48 gallons will go on the top. The one cubic foot will go on the bottom so that when you do your multiplication, the cubic feet will cancel out and you'll be left with gallons. So when you multiply 1,256 cubic feet by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot, you're left with an answer of 9,394.88 gallons. And that'll probably convert to 9,395. Stop beeping at me. I don't know who did the insulation work in this fancy studio I'm working out of. They did a horrible job because there sure is a lot of outside noise getting in. Anyway, back to our regular scheduled programming. What is the volume of water in gallons of a pipe that has an inside diameter of 8 inches and is 1,500 feet long? With our word problems, we're going to pull out our known and our unknowns so it's easier to keep track of. So what we know is that the length of the pipe is 1,500 feet, the diameter is 8 inches, and we're looking for the volume in gallons. The formula again is 0.785 times diameter squared times length. And by now, we're going to start to realize that this is going to be in feet, so we're going to have to convert our 8 inches into feet. To do that, there is 12 inches in a foot, and again, to get the inches to cancel out, they'll go on the bottom. So 8 inches times 1 foot over 12 inches, the inches cancel out, and this is going to end up being division. So 8 divided by 12. So when you do your division, the inches cancel out, it leaves you with 0 0.666 feet, and we're going to go ahead and round that to keep the devil away. And that leaves you with 0.67 feet. So we're going to go ahead and plug all of this into our math equation. So 0.785 times 0 0.67 feet squared times the length of 1,500 feet. Break that down even more. So 0.785 times 0 0.67 feet times 0 0.67 feet times 1,500 feet. And that gives you an answer of 528.5. 579 cubic feet again cubic feet because you had feet times feet times feet and we're going to go ahead and round this some more so 528.6 cubic feet again the answer is looking for gallons so we're going to have to do some more converting there are 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot so to get that to cancel out the cubic feet will go on bottom so 528.6 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. Cubic feet cancel out. And that leaves you with an answer of 3,953.92 gallons. And again, we're going to round that down to one decimal. And you're going to get 3,953.9 gallons. How many gallons of water are in an 8-inch pipe? That is 5,400 feet long. Again, let's pull out our known and our unknowns from our word problem to make it easier to keep track of. What we know is the length of the pipe is 5,400 feet, and the diameter of the pipe is 8 inches. Again, we are looking for volume in gallons. The volume of a pipe is equal to 0 0.785 times the diameter squared times the length. And remember, our answer is in cubic feet, so our units must all be in feet. To do that, again, we're going to have to convert the 8-inch pipe into feet. And 8-inch times 1 foot over 12 inch so that the inches will cancel out. And again, we've rounded this to 0.67 to get rid of the number of the beast. 
and we're going to plug this into our formula. So 0.785 times the diameter of 0.67 feet, and we're going to square that. We're going to multiply that by the length of the pipe of 5,400 feet. We get an answer of 1,902.9 cubic feet. And we need volume in gallons, so we're going to convert this. There are 7.48 gallons in a cubic feet, and again, in the conversion of units, we want it to cancel out. So 1,902.9 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons, our cubic feet cancel out, and it leaves us with an answer of 14,233.6 gallons. Now, one thing I will note when you're doing math problems, where you round things will change the answer by a couple of hundred here or there. I like to go with the smaller decimals. Um, I'm not really going to get into the units of importantness. Um, I don't quite get it. I haven't worked on that very much yet, but rounding will affect the answer, but usually your answer is going to be pretty close. So say if you have not rounded it to 0 0.67, feet when you did the inches and you did 0 0.667 instead when you do this math you'd be off by about 100 gallons compared to what I got. A water main is 1600 feet long and has an inside diameter of 12 inches. How many gallons of water does it hold? So we'll pull out our known and unknown first. So what we know is the length of the pipe is 1600 feet the diameter is 12 inches, and we're looking for the volume in gallons. The formula is still 0 0.785 times diameter squared times the length. And again, with all volume problems, it is cubic feet when solving for volume. So we need to convert the 12 inches into feet. And there are 12 inches in a foot still. So we're going to do the math be 12 inches times 1 foot over 12 inches. The inches are going to cancel out. It's going to be 12 divided by 12, which is going to leave you with 1 foot is the answer there. So we're going to go ahead and plug that into our formula. So 0.785 times 1 foot squared times 1,600 feet. So 0.785 times 1 times 1 times 1600 and you get an answer of 1256 cubic feet again volume problem solved for cubic feet but we are looking for the volume in gallons so to convert to gallons we do 1256 cubic feet times 7.48 gallons per cubic feet cubic feet cancel out and when you do the math, you're left with an answer of 9,394.9 gallons. And seeing that my editing skills are subpar, here is that slide with your answer, the 9,394.9 gallons. On to the next question. A new water line that is 8 inches in diameter must be filled with water prior to be brought into service. How many gallons of water will it take to fill the line if it is 8,000 feet long? So first, we're going to pull out our known and our unknowns from our word problem. What we know is the diameter of the pipe is 8 inches. The length of the pipe is 8,000 feet. And again, we're looking for the gallons of water. Still using the same formula. Volume of a pipe is equal to 0 0.785 times diameter squared times the length. And again, these are cubic feet is the answer. So the units of measurement must be in feet. So we're going to have to convert the 8 inches to feet which we've done multiple times already, but we'll do it again for fun. Eight inches times one foot. There's 12 inches in a foot. The inches go on the bottom so that they cancel out. So we're going to do the math. Inches cancel out. And again, if you remember, we round to get away from the devil's number, 0.67 feet. We're going to plug this into our formula. 0 0.785 times 0.67 feet times 0.67 feet times 8,000 feet and you get a volume of 2,819 cubic feet and again we're looking for gallons so we're going to have to convert cubic feet to gallons 
there are 7.48 gallons in a cubic foot. So we're going to multiply 2,819 cubic feet by 7.48 gallons. All right, and the cubic feet are going to cancel out. So when you do your multiplication, you're going to be left with an answer of 21,086 gallons. So that was a quick five questions. Well, not so quick, 15 minutes worth on volume in a pipe solved in gallons. Like I said, this is for learning purposes. I'm using this to help me study. If it helps you too, that's great. Thanks.